Hey guys, I'm shopping in Hobby Lobby today for supplies for our double-sided fall door hanger workshop. And so I thought I would bring you guys along with me so that you can see exactly what all you need in order to paint this door hanger. Because it's only $10 to participate. We're gonna teach you how to paint both sides. And it's all gonna happen inside of a private Facebook group. But there are a few other things you're gonna have to pick up. Um, you can get these things online or at like Hobby Lobby. You can even purchase the wooden blank from us for just $12. But in case you, you know, wanna go shopping locally, you can go to your local Hobby Lobby and pick up a few things. So I'm on the paint aisle at Hobby Lobby right now. Um, how many of you guys, hey Billy, how are you? Hey Kim, how many of you guys are nervous when you go down the craft aisle at Hobby Lobby because you don't know maybe what kind of paints to buy or maybe you don't even know what kind of brushes to get? How many of you guys feel that way? Um, I know when I first started painting, I didn't know the difference between the brush aisle, the, the art artist brush aisle that sells the brushes individually and the brush and the aisle like this that has all the brushes like in packs. I didn't know the difference between those two aisles for a long time. So I'm here to kind of answer that stuff for you guys and to help you out. Hey, Bessie, you finally got me alive. Awesome. Are all of you guys signed up for the fall workshop? Hello, Lynn. Hey, Cheryl. You love my shirt. Thank you, Sally. It's from Cotton Chaos. <laughs> hey, Angel. Okay, so. <laughs> um, so anyway, okay, Billy says she feels that way when she goes shopping. Good to know. Hey, Pam. So our workshop starts next Monday, the 16th. It's gonna be five days long. Each night of the workshop, I'm gonna go live and I'm gonna teach you a different part of it. So like night one, we'll just paint the background. And then night two, we'll start painting the pumpkin and um, maybe even start on the lettering. And then night three, we'll flip it over and we'll start painting, hang on, I'm about to drop it. We'll start painting the background of this one. And don't be intimidated by the buffalo plaid. It's really easy. You just use um, frog tape and buffalo, um, not buffalo, <laughs> baby wipes. Um, Joanne says she feels that way. Carrie, hey, hey, hey. Um, Kathy's all signed up, awesome. And for those of you guys who are a little bit nervous about the hand lettering part, because I know that can be intimidating. We have a printable template that you're gonna be able to use while you paint this. And I've picked up something called graphite paper. So when you're in Hobby Lobby, you need to go to the aisle that has, uh, like it looks like stuff for artists who sketch and draw and has like the fancy markers, the fancy pens. That aisle is the first aisle you're gonna stop at and you're gonna get some of this. It's called graphite paper. Awesome, Bobby's signed up. Yay, who else has signed up for the workshop? If you're not signed up yet, I did put the link in the video description up above. So you've just gotta get some of this graphite paper. This is 18 by 24. There's different sizes, okay? Don't get the little ones. There's some that's like eight and a half by 11. That's way too small. You're gonna want this one. It's 18 by 24 inches. So you're gonna use this graphite paper in order to, in order to transfer the drawing of the turkey, the pumpkin, the hand lettering to your wooden piece. Uh, Charla says, is this the new Hobby Lobby? You must be local to Western Kentucky. Yes, I'm in the new Hobby Lobby in Paducah, Kentucky. I didn't even know it was open yet. I drove over to the old one and there was a big closed sign. It said, we have moved. I'm like, oh, please, please, please let the new one be open today. And so I drove over here. This actually used to be a Gander Mountain. It's now a Hobby Lobby and it is gorgeous. You would never know that it used to be a Gander Mountain. It feels like it was always a Hobby Lobby. They've got it decorated so nicely. Hey, Christy, you have that shirt on today as well. Awesome. Uh, Carolyn says, do we sign up if we are in Painters Clubhouse? No, Painters Clubhouse members get access to this workshop for free, so don't pay for it, okay? Tammy says, I'm signed up. I can't wait. I'm nervous to see what I get. Okay, Tammy, don't be nervous. I'm going to hold your hand throughout this entire thing. It's going to be easy, okay? Um, Cindy's signed up. Awesome. Okay. Um, Michelle said, did you change the template size? So we've had quite a hassle with the templates because I don't know why, but for some reason we had a hard time getting this template size correctly. I think, everybody cross your fingers right now, cross your toes. I think the size of this template is the correct size that we have in there now. I have printed it out myself and it is appropriately sized to fit on an 18 inch blank. Yes, I am in the new Hobby Lobby, Tony. Okay, so the first thing you need to pick up is your graphite paper, 18 by 24 inches. See that up at the top? I know it's backwards, sorry. This stuff's $4.99. And you can use this stuff over and over and over again. So after you use it in this workshop, do not throw it away. You're gonna use it a hundred more times, okay? 
Awesome, Wanda's signed up. What else do we need? Okay, um, let's do the wooden blank next. My mom's here as my assistant. So here, you hold the camera and I'm gonna hold this. <laughs> so they have these wood rounds. Would it be easier if I flip, yeah, it? flip it? There we go, okay. <laughs> she was having a hard time holding it. So they have these wooden rounds on the craft wood aisle at Hobby, Bo Hobby Bobby. <laughs> but look how thick this is. This is not really my first choice for a door hanger because it's very heavy. But if this is all you can find, this will work, okay? Don't worry about it, it will work. This one is $19.99 at regular price. If you can catch it half price, go grab one. Um, but we're gonna be painting both sides of it to look like this. So it'll have a turkey on one side and it'll have a pumpkin on the other. So as you can see, they're about the same size, okay? Now, the, if you don't have a Hobby Lobby or maybe your Hobby Lobby is out of these, we can sell you the wooden blanks just like ours for $12. Because even though this one's $19.99, when Hobby Lobby puts it on sale, it's about $12. Bucks. So it'd be about the same price. Okay, we we'll put this down. If you can't find one of those, or maybe you're thinking that's too heavy, too big, I want another option. I did find these. Yes, I know it's a baseball. But if I run my fingers over this, you can't hardly at all feel those little stitches. So I know that you would be able to paint over this and it would work just fine. It's just gonna be a little bit small for a door hanger, but it would look super cute hanging up inside your house. This one is 12 and a half inches. So this would work as well. It's a much cheaper option. It's only $4.29 and it's much lighter. It's only about a quarter inch thick as well. So that's another option. Kathy said I printed it a 16 inch template. Is that the correct size? Uh, that should be pretty close. As long as it fits on an 18 inch round and doesn't overlap over the edges. All right, so now let me show you what kind of brushes you should pick up. So like on this aisle here, um, at the, so there's two places you can get paint brushes in Hobby Lobby. One is gonna be, one is gonna be over on the like art aisle where you get like the individual bird brushes. And that's where you find like the brushes for fine artists. We are craft painters, we are not fine artists, we're fun artists. So you're gonna to wanna to come to this aisle where they've got these multi-packs and stuff. Now, you have a couple of choices. This pack right here is $5.99. And while it is the cheapest and it does have the most in it, you're really only gonna be using these right here. You might use these on another project. I never use sponge brushes. And then these, you might use a couple of the white ones in there, but the other ones I would not recommend for door hanger painting. So this is an option, but just know that you probably will only use about 40% of the brushes in here. Now my favorite pack on this aisle was these right here, the Royal and Lang Nickel White Taclon brushes. It says white Taclon right down here. They also have them in black Taclon. That the color does not matter. The Taclon just means that it's got this really nice like nylon bristle. On the back it even shows you the different ways that you could use them to achieve the different brush strokes. So these are $8.99 and those are the ones that I would recommend you get. Um, if you're at like Walmart or somewhere else, just get another like value pack of nylon bristle brush brushes, okay? Don't get the ones that look like this right here. You don't want those, okay? Those right there that look like straw or the brown ones, those are made for more like oil painting and stuff like that. It's not gonna be what we're gonna be using for this workshop. All right, next thing you're gonna need is paints. So I scoured our paint aisle and I found all the colors that you're, well, you may not be able to pick them up. Um, let me use this. There we go. I found all the colors you're gonna need. You did except sub for, substitute the orange. Except for the orange. The orange on the paint color list is called Canyon Orange. And I'm gonna group these real close together. The only, oops, hang on. <laughs> I'm dropping them and they're rolling off. The only ones you don't see in this are white and black. Um, but the Canyon Orange, they were out of. So if you can't find Canyon Orange, warm sunset is a nice alternative. Just find a really nice pumpkin orange. We're also using that on the back for our turkey. So as you can see, that orange is pretty close and will work just fine. Um, the blue that we're using is called Victorian blue. And that's what the background of this one is. It's a really nice like denim blue. If you can't find that, just get something similar. Um, marigold, it's a really sort of mustard orange. There's a little bit of it here in the pumpkin and on the wings of our turkey. 
If you need to, go ahead and just take a real quick screenshot of these colors. I'm gonna have my mom kind of hold the camera up so you can see all those colors. Just take a screenshot if you wanna try to match those colors. Okay, and three, two, one. Hopefully you've got your screenshot. Um, the other color you may have some difficulty finding is this one right here. It's called Jade Green. It is the prettiest green. It's a brand new color by DecoArt. So if you can't find it, just try to get one similar. Um, there's also tomato red. Any kind of red will do. I just really liked the shade of this one. Um, Laguna is a pretty turquoise color, but of course that is be being used only on this uh, pumpkin and it's these little turquoise accents. So if you can't find that exact color, it really doesn't matter. Just get something kind of uh, turquoise looking that will work. I've also had some people asking like, what if I don't want a blue background? I have a blue door. You can paint the background of this any color you like. I just would not paint it orange or red or any color that's too close to the pumpkin color. Make it a color that's gonna like offset the pumpkin and have a nice contrast and look good on your front door. And if you don't like the green, that's totally fine. You're not gonna hurt my feelings. You can paint whatever color around the outside of this you want. So if you're not using the green for your background, you're not gonna need the jade green. And if you're not using blue for your background, you're not going to need the Victorian blue, okay? So just get whatever color you would like for your background. Um, the other thing you're going to need to pick up, which I did not find in Hobby Lobby, but I forgot to look for, is two inch wide painter's tape. I prefer the Frog Tape brand. You can pick that up at Walmart or somewhere else, but you can see that the buffalo plaid on this is nice and chunky. That's because I use a two inch thick um, Frog Tape. So if you want skinnier buffalo plaid, a skinnier tape will work as well. You're also gonna need some jute string. I found some of that in the store. It's called natural jute. I think on the supply list, it's called twine. That will work also. Just something that you can hang your door hanger with. Like I have this stapled to my door hanger and you're gonna need like a little staple gun that you can use to staple that on. All right, I think that's everything. Did we find everything in the cart? Yep. I think so, all right. Let's let me flip the camera back around for you guys. Okay, Megan said everything you need is in the guides section of the workshop in the Facebook group. So go and find your supply list there. If you have not signed up for this workshop yet, you can sign up at the link up above. Um, if you have any questions about it, feel free to text me. I did put my phone number up at the top so that you can text me as well. Um, will the list be posted for the paints as well? It's already in there, Robin. You can go grab it right now. <laughs> all right i think i might have caught all your questions if i missed any um just send me a text and i will answer them but i look forward to painting with you guys on monday see you guys later bye y'all